Welcome everybody for this hope and healing. I hope you're doing amazing because I, I know actually tonight God is going to show up, going to touch you, touch your life. Uh, so my name is Jeremy, um, Jeremy Bader. I come from Switzerland. You never saw me actually in Hope and Healing. That's the first time I'm here. I'm here to uh, to, to help Jean-Luc for this ministry, for this amazing time that we're going to have. And I rejoice for that. One thing I'm sure is that God wants to show up where you are. I've experienced that so many times in my life when I was not expecting, when I was actually down. Uh, you know, I, I was like, I was not, I had no hope. God came. God came and touched my life, touched my heart, touched my body, touched my soul. And I know he wants to do that tonight for you. Uh, you, you are actually, you are known by God. You know, the Bible said that he knows every numbers of our, of our hair. Uh, so he knows you. He knows you by heart. He knows you so well. And tonight he wants to encounter you in a new way. And I know that if you are watching us, it's not a coincidence. It's actually because God wants to, to, uh, to meet you. God wants to encounter you in a new way way and a fresh way in a powerful way and i know the holy spirit wants to come in your life invade your life and touch touch you wherever you are so i expect god to to touch you tonight and i want to welcome everybody that is watching it would be amazing if you can actually write us from where you are watching it would be amazing it would be great uh, today we were actually with a, a lot of different people we had a school today and uh, actually we were people from netherlands italy latvia from Belgium, from Australia, from Taiwan, Malaysia, and so many countries. It's so, so good to see God. Actually, he's moving everywhere around the earth. So it would be great if you can actually write from where you are watching. I know that few people from Bordeaux were watching us from, from the island of, uh, of La Réunion. We're watching us from Malta. Amazing. So welcome, everybody. It's going to be a great night. So expect God to show up. Uh, some people from Denmark, welcome, Marco from Denmark, and everyone that is watching. Uh, and we're going to have this time of hope and healing with Denise Goulet. But we, before we go into the, the time of, uh, of, uh, of input, of uh, encouragement, we're going to have a short time of, of worship. Worship, it's actually just a, a song that we sing to, to worship God, to uh, to to. Uh, to uh, to, to praise the name of Jesus. We know, we believe that God is the, is the God of everything and Jesus came down on earth and he gave his life to, to, for us to save us. So we just want to worship, worship him for everything he has done. So if it may be your first time that you, you heard about worship, just, just listen and just open your heart, open your mind, open your spirit uh, for, for what, the, what God wants to do in, during this time. And, and let's just uh, uh, raise the name of Jesus. When I think about the Lord, how we save me, how we raise me, how we feel me. With the Holy Ghost And how He healed me To the uttermost When I think about the Lord How He picked me up And turned me around And how He placed my feet On solid ground Come on, sing it with us When I think When I think about the Lord yeah. Solid 
Thank you, Jesus. That's the only thing we can say because God is so good. I don't know if you know, but Jesus came down on earth 2,000 years ago and he, he lived his life on earth. And then he gave his life on the cross for us to save us. And tonight, if you never experience the, actually the freedom that it is, you can experience that tonight. So we, we, we're supposed to have Denise Goulet with us. I hope she will be able to come shortly. But in the meantime, I, I want to welcome everybody who joined us for this hope and healing. There's Monica from Germany, uh, from Val d'Oise, Francine, welcome. Uh, different people from different regions, from Aija, from Latvia, Emeritia from Belgium, welcome everybody. Debra from Canada, welcome everyone. It's so, so great to have you with us for this hope and healing. I just want to start to pray for, for people, actually. I know that God actually wants to touch uh, people tonight, wants to heal people tonight. So if you are sick in your body, actually, it's also the right time. Hope and healing. Tonight, you, you will see hope. You will feel hope, receive hope. But you will also receive healing for your body. So if you are sick tonight, just I just want you to put your hands on the part of your body when you have where you have pain and and i'm gonna pray for that i'm gonna pray for you and I, i'm gonna ask jesus I, i'm actually i'm gonna ask the holy spirit the spirit of jesus to come on you and to remove the pain and to restore everything that has been damaged or um, or destroyed or whatever everything that is missing i'm gonna ask, ask the holy spirit to come on your body and you will feel the Holy Spirit coming on you and you will receive the healing of God. So if you are sick tonight, just put your, your hand where you have pain. It's just an act of faith. Uh, just to put your hands when you where you have pain, when you, you need healing. And I just want to pray right now. In the name of Jesus, I release healing over the body of everyone. Right now, in the name of Jesus, you touch everyone from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. You come and touch their life. I come into to all the pain to leave in the name of Jesus. I see several people. You have actually pain in in the in the in your in your neck. You're actually not able to move your neck. And I, I see God touching you. And actually the movement is coming back on you. I feel the pain in the back of people is leaving right now in the name of Jesus. I feel actually somebody, you had actually a hip that has been um, uh, misplaced. I don't know, you had an accident and you, your hip actually moved and and, uh, and you, 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 you have pain since then. And I pray right now for complete healing. I, I command the hip to come back uh, in place in the name of Jesus. I pray for every, uh, every, every, every sickness in the body to leave in the name of Jesus. I feel several people, you have alopecia, you're losing your hair, and God is touching you right now. He's touching your head and he's healing every hair that you have in the name of Jesus. I feel, I feel actually people, you have also pain because of a, actually a broken bones. And you have actually broken bones for, for several years or several months. And it doesn't want to be uh, to be restored or rebuilt. And I see the Holy Spirit is coming and, and is touching your feet in the name of Jesus. Actually, it's something that happened to, to me. I was I was in, in Reno in the States and I was praying for people in the streets. And we went to the hotel and I saw a woman there and I prayed for her and I asked her what she had. And she said, I had pain in my feet. And actually it's broken bones and the doctors have been trying to, to heal that for, for, for years, but nothing actually is happening. So I prayed for her and I said, God will touch you. God will touch you to, uh, today. And so I put my, I put my hand on, on her feet and I prayed for her. And she said, I feel electricity uh, all around my, my feet. It's actually the same feeling that I had when I went to the doctor. They tried to, 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 uh, to restore my bones with electricity. I don't know actually what it is, but they tried that. And they said, she said, I feel electricity in my bones. And, uh, and uh, she, after that, she, tried, she began to move and then all the pain was gone. All the pain was gone and she got completely healed. Uh, and that's so, so good. And I feel that if you have pain on your feet or in your bones tonight, God wants to touch you in the name of Jesus. If you actually have also have a, a prayer request, I want to pray for you. I see Aija, she asked to pray for Janice. Uh, who is in the hospital and she is dying and has not met Jesus yet. So we pray for Janice right now in the name of Jesus that you touch, you touch this person in the name of Jesus. Right now, right now, you touch, you touch and you pray for restoration of her, um, his body or her body. And, and I pray right now that you, yeah, you touch this person right now. It's the spirit of resurrection of her, his or her life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. God is so, so good. Tonight, maybe you never heard about Jesus. And I want to tell you a bit 
a bit more about Jesus because I think it's so, so important to, to get to know him. I think it's so important to at least one, one time in our life to, to realize how good he is and, and to say, okay, maybe I need to, to do something about it. You know, actually, uh, the, when we heard about Jesus, there's a choice that comes with it. The choice to say, actually, I need to do something. There's, it, maybe you, you're here and uh, this is the first time you, you hear about hope and healing and you say, I don't have this hope. I don't have this. I never heard about healing. I don't have this joy. I don't have this peace that sometimes I hear about Christian. And, and, and you ask yourself, maybe I can receive that. And, uh, and the, the answer is, it's Jesus. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. It's, it is not, it's not a theory. It's not a religion. The way is a person. The way is a person in his name is Jesus. And to follow him, actually, it actually requires a, a decision. A decision to to um to do something, you know. In in our life, I realized that everything that I don't decide is decided for me. Like if I don't decide to do sports, actually, I don't do sports. So the decision is made uh, because I didn't do it. So uh, if I don't try, don't decide to 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 eat better, actually, I don't eat better. So the decision is made. It's actually made because of time. And it's so many times it's like that, that the time decides uh, instead of us. And tonight, I think for you, it's the time to decide. And nobody can decide for you. Nobody can decide. No, neither your, 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 your wife, your husband, your family, uh, your friends, even your pastor maybe. or Not even me. I cannot decide for you. The decision is in your hands. And you must decide now. When we don't decide, the time decides for us. When we don't decide... We actually are powerless. We don't decide for anything. And I want you still tonight to be powerful. I want you tonight actually to know that you have power over your own life, that you can decide. You can decide for a new life. You can decide for something amazing. You can decide actually for your destiny. Maybe you say to yourself, I don't have actually the power. I don't have anything, the strength to change my past. Maybe you are in this position right now in your life when you, you're like, I need my past to change. I need something. I need something new. Me, I felt that so many times in my life. I was like, my past wasn't great. I had to do something about it. And I said, I don't have actually the power to change my past. The only power that I have is to decide for Jesus. And Jesus is the one who has the power to change my past. And also he has the power to change my destiny, my future. He has the power to actually give me peace, to give me joy, to give me hope, to give me healing. He has the, the power to give me a new life and to, 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 uh, to give me access to the Father, to give me access to the kingdom of God, to give me access to eternal life. So tonight, maybe it's your time. It's your time to choose, to make a choice. It's maybe it's your time. And I want to encourage you to, to make this decision. If you don't do it now, so when? When do you, will you do it? If we postpone every time we have a choice, I don't know, we are, we are powerless. We don't choose. So tonight, I want you to choose. I think it's your time to choose. It's the day, the Bible says it's the day of salvation. And tonight it is, it's the day of salvation for you. Maybe you need to, maybe you, you, you need to meet Jesus for the first time, or maybe you need to, to recommit your life to Jesus. Maybe you, you've been away from him for, for, for a long time and you need, to, you need to make a choice to say, I'm going to go back to Jesus. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my life back to Jesus. I want him to come in my life. I want him to come and, and touch my life. So if it's you tonight, I want to, to ask you to close your eyes and just to, uh, to follow and to, and to say this prayer with me and say, Lord Jesus, I want to give you my life. I want to give you my heart. I put everything in your hand. I believe you are the Savior. I believe you are the, the Lord. And I want to receive you in my life. And I want to repent of all of my sin. I make the decision to give all of my past with something sometimes maybe not good. And I give it to you, Jesus. And I want to receive your new life. I want to receive your hope. I want to receive your healing. I want to receive my destiny. And I ask the Holy Spirit that you come on me right now, that you fill me completely. The Bible says that we will be baptized with Holy Spirit and fire. And I ask the Holy Spirit right now to come on you in the name of Jesus. 
I thank you, Jesus. He wants to touch you tonight. There's so many people who are there. I know you have so many requests uh, for prayer, and I'm going to pray for you. Uh, but I want to welcome everybody who made this decision. It's the best decision of your life. It's actually the whole purpose of hope and healing. It's to give hope. And the greatest hope, it's Jesus. And the greatest healing, it's Jesus. So I just want to welcome you. If you give your life to Jesus, welcome the family of God. It's so, so great. And if you want more information, you can go on the on healingministries.org. And there's the, actually a link to know Jesus. You can find actually information on that. And uh, it's so, so great. If you recommit your life to Jesus, it's such a great a uh, great decision. I want to encourage you to go in a church, find a community, find people who love Jesus. It's so important to be surrounded by friends and family and a community. It's so, so great. I want to continue to pray for for, for some people. For, for the, the You actually ask for a uh, for prayer request, and I want to pray for that. So tonight we were supposed to have Denise Goulet. I don't know what happened. We're going to just gonna bless her where she is, and, and uh, we can continue this night. We can just continue to pray for, for the sick, pray for people, and release hope and healing over every one of you. And I saw these people, actually, you, have, uh, you ask for prayer. Uh, money, you ask for a prayer for polyps into your face. And uh, money, I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I release healing. I release healing in the name of Jesus all over you right now. Money be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Nicole, she asked for varis. Uh, I don't know actually you call that. It's a veins in uh, in your legs that, are, that hurts. I pray for healing right now in the name of Jesus. If you have that, just put your hands where you have pain in your in your legs, in your veins, and I release the blood of Jesus over you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I release the blood of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. If you have other requests, just uh, just put them, and I, I will pray for that. Uh, Michelle, you pray for you ask for prayer for Isaiah, Isaiah for complete restoration from COVID. I pray right now from for everybody that got that, that actually got COVID and you had um, um, uh, lungs problems or, or whatever. Maybe you lost your taste or your 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 smell. I want to pray right now for complete restoration over you. In the name of Jesus, I release healing over your body. A complete restoration of your smell, your taste, your lungs, and everything that got touched by the COVID. I release, I break the curse of the coronavirus. I break the curse of the sickness. I break that in the name of Jesus. And I release healing over you right now. Thank you, Jesus, because you are here tonight. You want to touch people. Thank you, God. I want to pray also for Rene. Uh, you asked to pray for Krista, your wife. She has tinnitus in a serious way, seriously way. Um, I want to pray right now for, um, for your wife, Krista, in the name of Jesus, that she may be healed in the name of Jesus, for Tainatis, in the name of Jesus right now. You touch her. You touch her right now. I feel the heat of the Holy Spirit coming on her right now. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I pray for Nick, for your loss of memory and your brain. I pray for complete restoration. God is the God of miracles, Nick, and he can touch you where you are. And I pray for your brain right now. I pray for every cell in your brain. I pray for your memory to come back. Thank you, Jesus, because you restore everything right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for also Alessandro for cancer. I don't know if it's you, Alessandro, if it's someone, someone in your family, but I, I release healing right now in the name of Jesus. I curse the cancer cell. I curse them. I curse them, and I release life in your body, Alessandro, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. I pray for, for Jerry. You have pain all, over, all around your body and your legs are weak and you have problems with so, swallowing food. So I pray right now, Yari, that you are touched by the God, the, the God of miracles. I command the pain to leave right now. I command the pain to leave right now. Thank you, Jesus. I command the strength to come back in your knees. I actually command over you, Jerry, that I feel a burden is actually coming, is actually on your um, on your shoulders. It's not from God; it's actually from the devil. And this burden actually actually brings the pain. So I break this burden in the name of Jesus, and I release the the light burden of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. I pray for Tanya. You have knee problems and carpal tunnel. I pray for healing right now in the name of Jesus. Several years ago, I actually prayed for a woman. She had no cartilage, not no cartilage in her knees, 
and uh, she asked for prayer. She had constant pain. So I prayed for her and actually the cartilage grew back under my, my hand. The God was so, so good. And, and I feel, Tanya, that God wants to do the same. He wants to touch your knees, restore everything that was broken and touch your carpet. In the name of Jesus, I release healing of your hands right now. Pray for Christine. You are, please pray for Le uh, Lillian. Was neurodermitis and needs inner healing in coming to Jesus. I pray for Lillian. I don't know actually what's neurodermitis. Uh, I'm not a doctor, but I, I know God knows and he's the greatest doctor. So I pray for Lillian. I pray that you touch, you touch her in the name of Jesus. You touch her right now. You touch her brain. You touch her, her, her all of, all of her, her body in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are so, so good. Thank you, God. I pray also for her leave. You, are, you ask for um, um, pray for healing for fibroids and irregular menstrual period. Uh, I'm not familiar to that, but I know God wants to touch you, Olive, tonight. And I pray for, for healing right now over your body, Olive. We touch, I feel the peace of God is actually coming on you right now. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Pray for Krikri, for Krista, uh, for your stomach. I commend the pain to leave. I come in everything that is not right in your stomach to leave right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for Christine for skin disease. I command your skin to be pure. In the Bible, so many times we saw Jesus uh, who uh, healing the, the the people who have skin disease like uh, leprosy or, or stuff like that. And Jesus wants to make you pure, wants to, wants to make your skin pure. So I release healing. I release the purity of Jesus, the purity of the Holy Spirit all over your skin right now, Christine, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Rosemary, for a restoration of your mobility right now. I pray for the strength of God to come on your body. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for Juliette, who has Lyme disease. I pray, God, that you touch her right now. I pray for that. I pray for the fire of God, Juliette, to come over you and to burn this Lyme disease. I pray that the strength will come back to your body completely. Completely, right in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I release, Juliet, the fire of God over your life to burn this Lyme disease in the name of Jesus and to release complete healing right now. Thank you, God. I pray for Tony. Yes, for, for healing in your body. I pray, Tony, that you got healed right now in the name of Jesus. I actually feel, Tony, you have pain in your in your shoulders. And, uh, and I release healing over that in the name of Jesus. If it's right, you can just write it. I also feel you have pain in your in your in your wrists, and I release healing right now in the name of Jesus. I pray also for Francine of diabetes, uh, your eyes, your back, my, your feet, the thyroids. I pray, Francine, for the healing all over your body right now. Thank you, God. He knows everything. He knows you, Francine. He knows you, Francine. He wants to heal your body right now in the name of Jesus. Pray for complete peace over your body, the shalom of God, the peace of God, and in the peace of God, in the presence of God, there is healing. So I release the presence of God all over your body in the name of Jesus. There's so many people who need, who need prayer. So I just want to continue to pray for that. We, we won't do too, too long tonight. Uh, it's, it's not the, the goal to do hours and hours, but the goal is to release healing, to release hope over you. So if you are sick tonight, I want to invite you to put your hands on your body and I, I'm going to pray for you. I'm just going to pray for you. If you have a pain all over your body, just put your hands on the top of your head and, and God will touch you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are so, so good. And I know tonight you touch people. Even if I cannot see them, I cannot touch them. You can see them and you can touch them where they are. So right now, I release your healing on their body. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I release healing over their body. Right now, I command the pain to leave. Right now, I command the, 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 the strength to come back. I command complete restoration of your, of your body right now in the name of Jesus. I curse and I command all the sickness to leave right now. I command all the, the healness to leave in the name of Jesus. Complete restoration over your body right now. And I pray for hope to come in your life. Hope for the future, hope for your life, hope for your destiny. And I pray for the peace of God to come all around you right now. Thank you, God. He wants to touch you tonight. He's so, so, so good. God is so, so good. If you never met him, I want to encourage you to, to go and, 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 and go and go to him. You know, the Bible says it's very simple. He said that you need to go into your room 
and talk to you, Father who is in heaven, and he will answer you. So if you never never heard about Jesus, you never heard about, about God, I want to encourage you to go in your room and say, Father, come into my life. Touch my life. I want to give you my life. I want to give everything that I have, and I want to receive everything that you have. I want to receive the Holy Spirit. I want to receive your presence in my life, your peace, your hope. And I want you to, to repent of every every sin, every everything that I've done what that wasn't right. And I want to receive your forg- forgiveness right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus is so so good, so 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 good. We won't do we won't do too long tonight. So we were supposed to have Denise Goulet with us, and we bless her where she is. And uh, I know that God wants to touch you. I know God knows everything. So if you were here tonight, it was not a coincidence. That was not a mistake. You were here to to experience God in a new way. You were here to to meet God in a new way. It's not finished. So hope and healing. It's a it's a it's a it's a monthly uh, or weekly show. Uh, host by Jean Luc Traxel. I'm not Jean Luc Traxel. And I'm here to serve. His ministry serve IHM, uh, serve uh, his vision. So I'm just here to pray for the people, to pray for every one of you. And uh, I rejoice to see you again. So actually, the next Hope and Healing will be on Wednesday, October 13 at 9 p.m. with, with Elizabeth King. So join us uh, for this event. We will also have uh, the Miracles and Healing Night. Actually, the next one will be in French. Uh, the September 30 at, at 9 with Sir Judith Miriam. So, pour tous les francophones, on aura bientôt une soirée francophone uh, Miracle à Guérison qui aura lieu le jeudi 30 septembre à 19h avec, avec, um, avec Sœur Judith Myriam. So, rejoignez-nous pour cette soirée Miracle à Guérison. On aura aussi la, l'opportunité d'avoir une soirée Miracle à Guérison en présentiel à Oron la ville en Suisse le 9 octobre. Donc, si vous avez l'occasion de nous rejoindre, rejoignez-nous pour cette soirée um, en face à face. So, if you're actually in the region of Switzerland, that would be amazing because uh, October 9th, we will have a, a, a meeting face to face in 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 Oron la ville, and it will be amazing. It will be called revival, miracles, and healing. So, if you can join us, it will be amazing. It will be also online. If you met Jesus tonight, if you gave your life to Jesus, I want to encourage you to go on the, on our website and to go on the link uh, how to know Jesus. And there is several actually information on what to do next. So it will be. It is actually it was a joy to be here with you uh, tonight. Really a joy, a privilege to be here with you for hope and healing. The the show of Jean Luc Traxel. Really a privilege. I hope you've been blessed by God. You've been blessed by uh, by hope and healing. And I will continue to pray for you, continue to pray for healing. If you need prayer, you can still ask. Uh, also, um, uh, the IHM Ministry, International Association of Healing Ministry, they can also pray for you. So don't hesitate also to contact them. And I wish you a very good day, night. I don't know where you are. So I w- wish you a very good time. And I just pray for the blessing of God to come on you right now. In the name of Jesus, bless you.
Everything is dead. 